it might be a little bit of a cop-out to slip off into global interdependence. Because what about, the, what about the challenges of democracy even here in Britain? The challenge of a government, either government, the previous one or this government, who actually failed to apply the law. They failed to apply the law to their own banking system. They failed to apply the law to the press. They failed to apply the law to the police. And, and that, I think, is part of the public disaffection with democracy. It says, well, what is democracy? Is it the rules that you can buy if you're very, very wealthy, if you're a Rupert Murdoch or if you're a, or a city group? Is democracy about what you can buy as a set of rules? And is that why they look with some yearning at China and Singapore and say, well, those governments are not democratically elected, but they seem to be delivering more to their population. And in some areas, they seem to apply the rules that they have in some areas. Let's be, let's be careful here. I mean, I, I, I'm not a, sympath, a sympathizer with that view. I think every democracy has to keep reinventing itself. And I think, and I'm sure we'll get to it in this conversation, that there are some specific things that this country can do and other countries can do to re-energize and strengthen their democracies. But I think we risk saying globalization and independence makes it all too difficult and governments are buffeted by these tremendous wins that they've set up through globalization. I don't believe that. I think globalization means you need smarter, more effective, more responsive government, and I think it can be that. But we should hold each of our own governments to account. 